up peoples of YouTube, I am the Motorcycle Mick and today we are doing a product review, yep, da -da 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 -da, product review, it took me an arm and a leg to freaking get to where I needed to go to pick up this thing, but once I got it, I'm pretty happy right now, I got a few little kinks I need to figure out, but it is mounted on my helmet, because I've got a huge motor vloggers meet up tomorrow, and I have to be able to communicate with everyone else that's on the ride, so we are going to do a just new opened up and I'll show you a little bit of the unboxing right now Harley Boom Audio 20S Evo. It is a comm system Bluetooth, so you can communicate with your friends. You see, the problem is, is you've been out here riding around with your buddies in a pack, and they all have their Senna's on, and by the way, just for the record, this is made by Senna. Yeah, it's got Harley's little stamp on there, but it is made by Senna. Don't get me wrong, the pricing is actually about the same, so you're not really just paying for an extra stamp, but you're going to have the ability to record audio if you want to, but also be able to chat with your buddies while riding down the road. And you know what? All that shit they've been talking behind your back because you're the only guy that doesn't have a Senna or a Bluetooth communicator, you can stop it. You know what I mean? You can join the conversation making fun of other people that are driving down the road, causing issues, being wieners. I picked this bad boy up from Wolverine Harley Davidson. That's right, I went to a Harley dealer to get my Senna set up. I would have gone to another place, but the problem is, is that they did not have it in stock. And yeah, their website says they have it in stock, but they don't. I feel deceived. I'm actually really excited to have this though, because I can actually call people. Like, I, I have the issue, a massive issue, and that is, People want to call my phone while I'm riding my motorcycle, and then I can't answer it, and then they just keep repetitively calling. They don't give up. And that's why I ran into the problem of getting really pissed off. I'm trying to sit there and ride my bike and listen to my music, but when they call, my music shuts off. Yeah, I, I don't have audio until it stops freaking ringing. And it's super fucking annoying. So, I got the Senna. I got it plugged into my helmet. I'm not going to do an install video because you can find so many of those on the internet. And if you're looking for the one just for this headset, it's still a Senna 20S Evo. So, you don't really need my assistance to be able to install on your helmet. It's a clamp. It comes with Velcro, you Velcro the freaking speakers into place, and then you're golden. I kind of want to give it a little review of it, just based off how I've used it while riding. And that's been about this trip I'm on right now. Without really messing with the settings, just the way it came, the audio on it seems a little bit distorted, and I'm sure there's a way to fix that, you know, just kind of tweak it a little bit. For right now, the audio is a little bit distorted. It's kind of annoying because it sounds like someone's riding around with a blown out speaker, and they shouldn't be because they're brand new, and they're supposed to be these new HD ones, so I should not have to do this issue and i'm sure there's an easy solution i've just yet to figure it out yet so don't hold that against him just out of the box you're gonna need to adjust some settings and i'm hopefully gonna get some help on that one here in a minute until that point also the pairing to the phone feature is really freaking easy you just hold down there's a phone button which is on the back of the center and the jog button jog 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 dial button which is that big silver button inside the jog dial if you don't know what a jog dial is it's that black circle that rotates yeah, that's right it just spins around just doing its own little thing you have your phone with Bluetooth on, it'll pop up, pair it, easy, bing, bang, boom, done. Originally, I was going to get the 10S. Got surprised, got the 20S Evo. So this one has eight person pairing. So this does not have the mesh like the 30K does. There is a way to piggyback, or you can also get this little thing that attaches to your handlebars. I'm not sure what it is. Once I figure that one out, I'll be able to jump on that path. Hey, how's it going? So it, it does not have the uh, audio in the headset right here. What it does have is, um, it's, it's got individual chats, so you can select each individual person, like connect to mics one through eight. But there is that party chat feature, yeah. And all those people that are a little bit past their friggin' teenage years, like me. Y'all remember the party chats on Xbox 360 were just frickin' savage. No one could survive. And now what happened is those people grew up, got motorcycles, and they bought Santa. So now those party chats go into real life. So whether it's narrating the people around you, narrating stuff going on, it's going to be 
hilarious. And you'll have plenty of memories to enjoy. The speakers are actually quite a bit louder than I expected them to be, but that's also, I need to adjust them. Because I'd rather have good crisp audio. I don't know about you guys, but distorted audio is one thing that just triggers me. The 20S is actually very, I mean 20, 20S, same thing. The 20S has got a couple more bells and whistles, but it's very sleek, very nice. I was actually able to attach it behind certain parts of my helmet because I didn't want to modify my helmet. Everyone's like, you can just rip stuff off and do that. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to mess up my helmet that I made just to add on a little speaky box. Uh my eyes are open to scratch my face. You should know though, there are other cheaper options for Bluetooth. There, it's like the BTS2. Honestly, I needed one quickly, and two, I didn't have time to wait. I didn't really want to buy something cheaper because these do have warranties on. I'm sure those ones probably have a warranty on it, but I didn't really want to mess with that. This one connects up to eight riders, and I'm sure they're going to upgrade it to other things. I feel like the mesh technology is probably just a software update they could do to this. 20S Evo, I was talking to one of the guys I, that's coming in the ride tomorrow, and it's like he made a good comparison. It's like the iPhone SE. You know, it's not the iPhone 7, but it's not the S6. Hey, it's me a couple days later. So something I did figure out is that getting to get the sentence to pair is not quite as easy as they say it is. Now, from center to center, it is easy, but, you know, at the same time, mm -hmm. there's two methods. That one of those, which is the... Put it into pairing mode so you hold the jog dial button, which is, they call it the jog dial in the manual. I don't know why. That is the big silver button. This is what they mean to push and the phone button. It puts it into blinking red and blue mode and then you shake them and they apparently force pairs them. But from what I've learned, it's easier just to do it the regular way, which is just hold down the jog dial for six seconds until they pair and then someone just taps the jog dial button. Really easy. I do have a couple sound bites I'm gonna put in here just so, uh, stuff I did capture on my mic I have in here because I do not have a split mic yet to run to my Zena speaker so y'all can hear what other people are saying. There goes Wigsley. Ha ha. Ha ha. Bye Felicia. Bye bye. I did 100% bye Felicia do. And group pairing we found out is quite difficult. The Sun app is completely garbage. That thing crashes more than a NASCAR driver turning right. Honestly, the way we got our pair for the big motorblogger meetup we had was they looked on their mesh systems and it picked up our sunnas and dragged us into us. It was kind of cool. But at the same time, we sat there for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and tried to pair it and it didn't work. The manual itself, too, is on the Sun app. The app crashes or your phone's not connected. Either way, it'll, it'll just keep messing with you. And it's really hard to read because it's like they just photocopied the manual onto the phone instead of just put a PDF on it. Because, like, you have to print it off at some point. Someone's typed the whole thing up and printed it off. But the problem is, is that they just photocopied it and then put it on the app and it's like, what are you doing? Overall though, I will say the 20S Evo is a great investment. The experience I've had with it over the weekend, being able to talk to people, directions became easier because you're not doing the hand motions, which you should still know hand motions just in case something does fail. Like 100% you should know it just in case something does fail. That is a big deal. So you want to make sure that you know if something fails, you're going to be able to communicate with everyone else. I, I mean, I don't know. Can I justify buying a more expensive one? I mean, if you drive with a lot of people, 100%, I would recommend getting this. If The 20S Evo is perfect if you ride with a lot of people. Like, you have a bunch of friends you ride with, like, you like to provide in repair groups, and everyone's got comm systems. But if they don't have comm systems and you guys are all looking together to get something like that to be able to communicate with each other, I would recommend if you do find a multi-pack, you can buy those together, like each you go half in on it, and you can get them cheaper. That is the one thing I do recommend. But once you do get the hang of it, it's actually worth it. I will say that right now, it is 100% worth it. It made it very easy to keep tabs on and be able to talk to others and be able to keep on our route without causing issues. If the group got separated a little bit, we could it all communicate communicate at highway speeds you're kind of you got to turn the jog dial up a lot because i had an issue there the static issue i was with like music so i mean honestly it's got hg speakers they're not bassy they're not made for bass so if you like to listen to bassy music it, it can cause some issues it'll have some feedback like, uh, it's it's good but i mean i feel like there could be an improvement on it but when it comes to like phone calls like the, the ease ability to be able to answer your phone be like hello and people can't hear you on the bike i don't know what they got some noise canceling technology but when you're on the bike my mic is actually beneath my chin in my helmet so when i'm talking to it i'm over the top of it talking and it, i don't know how that works but either way and people can't hear the motorcycle 
people that can't really hear wind noise. I, I don't think they can hear wind noise at all. Phone calls I've made, people are like, oh no, I can't tell you're on your motorcycle. Just like, hmm. Like, well, that's a great thing. But all in all, it is worth it. As long as you get the audio adjusting set it perfectly, like, I mean perfectly, it'll actually be pretty good. Also features like, hello, I'm not gonna say it because she'll tell and start talking to me, but like saying hello, son, and all that will cause you to be able to control other devices while you're riding. And actually, this one linked to my Boom Audio speakers, so I can control which way the music goes, among other things. So if I have my music playing in my helmet, I can hit the play button here, and it automatically draws it over to there. So it's kind of cool, it even connects to the Bluetooth speaker sets, not just the consoles. Go pick yourself up one of these headsets. Go get a Bluetooth communicator, even if it's one of the cheaper ones. Having a Bluetooth communicator will be invaluable. Just keep in mind like the amount of devices that they can connect to, Senna's can connect to without being Senna is one. But for today guys, that's all I has got. If you did like this video, use your thumb the right way and leave a big thumbs up. I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday, Eastern Standard Time. I'm always putting out great content. I'm always, and to be honest, I am your unusual Harley guy. I, I don't play by the book. I really don't. As always though, I hope you have a great day, evening, Morning, night, breakfast, afternoon tea, dinner, whatever time of day or whatever you're doing. And remember to not be like that jackass and always ride for freedom. Boop.